To create angled pipe flange, first we need, to create, a circle of 60 mm, diameter, by clicking, on the circle command, given at the top left hand, corner as you can, see on the screen. Then further for creating, another circle, we need to select, offset command. After that select the sketch curves, then drag it down till 8 mm dimension between two circles are created. As you can see, two circles are created, as the inner circle at a distance of 8 mm apart. Further adjusting it to, back view we are going, to create an arc, by selecting 3 point arc command, given at the arc option, drag it to a certain position, then click on it and a curve is formed. Further our required arc, is been created. You need to look carefully, to the further part of the video to get to know how we are using certain commands. First we need to adjust our design to left view as you can see we have adjusted it. Then select the sweep command and select the profile as the outer circle, and path as the arc that we just created, then you can see by applying sweep command we got this bent solid structure with a hollow part as a pipe. Now have a look at the design you can see it. Now adjusting your design to the back view, select the part at which you need to create a rectangle. By clicking on the rectangle command given next to the circle command or you can just go on create and click on rectangle option. Then we are going to create a rectangular base over the circular part by the help of center rectangle command. As you can see a rectangle of certain dimension has been created at the circular part. Have a look at it as we are going to adjust our design upside down for carrying out further action in our design. Further we need to extrude the rectangular base by using extrude command or you can use shortcut by clicking E on the keypad, you will get extrude option. To extrude the rectangle you need to drag the rectangle down to 5 mm distance, as you can see our rectangle has been extruded. Please have a look, further we need to create a circle of 60 mm diameter over the rectangular base. You need to watch this part carefully, if any mistakes such as using inappropriate dimensions, errors in the design and many more mistakes, made at this very moment you will have to create your design again, so please pay attention to the video and learn how to create this design. Again I am going to show we need to create circle over the rectangular base of 60 mm dimension, have a look as you will come to know the changes that have been made. As you can see our required circle has been created over the rectangular base. Now we need to extrude the circular part by dragging it down to 10 mm distance, and have a look as I am going to show you by revolving the design you can get a rough idea to carry out further action into your design, after extruding the circular part our design looks like this, further I am going to adjust our view of the design to carry out further actions into our design, create a circle over the circular base that we just extruded, of 6 mm is the diameter of the circle. Now to adjust Adjust the circle click on dimension command and adjust it to 7 mm distance from center of the circle. Further by using rectangular pattern command first select the object as the small circle that we just created over the rectangular base and then giving it the required directions, dragging it down and then towards the left and giving the quantity as 2. To carry out further steps you have to follow the given steps as shown on the screen. By revolving our design, as you can see the required circles has been created by using the rectangular pattern command, now the next step is that circles has to be extruded by the help of extrude command, select properly all the four circles that has to be extruded. Create till, the holes, has been, foe, firmed over the base. By orbit option, have a clear look. As, you can see, four circular holes, has been, created, further adjusting our view, we, can see, the, changes, that, has, been, made to the, design. Now, we are going to apply, threads, to the holes. Threads, are basically, made, for the screws, to get, easily fitted, onto the, holes, and allowing, a proper grip, to the screws, over the holes. So here, threads, can, be formed, by selecting, thread command. Select, the face, where, the threads has to be created, as you can see, threads, are formed. Follow, same steps, for all the other holes. As you can, see. I am applying, threads to the, other holes, where threads, are to be formed. I am, going, to revolve, the design, by, orbit option, given below. 
as you can see threads are applied over to all the four poles. Further, to give a finished look to the rectangular base, we need to apply belay to its edges. You can use belay directly from the top modify option, or you can use shortcut by clicking F on the keypad and belay option will appear on the screen. Apply fillet command to the edges by 10 mm dimension to all the four sides of the rectangular base to give it a proper, curved and smooth look. Basically, now our angled pipe flange design is formed, as you can have a look by revolving it by orbit option given below. As of now, our design is created and we need to give the type of material over to the angled pipe flange. Further, we are going to apply physical material command from modify option given at the top to our design. Selecting metal as our material, we further select aluminum and then dragging it towards our design and material has been applied over to our design. Finally, our angled pipe flange has been created as you can have a look to it properly. Follow these given steps as I have shown and you will create this design effect.